Hi guys, Matt V's Movies back for another video and today is um, a look at the film Paranormal Activity Next of Kin the Halloween season so yep, I'm going to be uh, telling you a little bit about the film um, and then my thoughts on it as part of the Halloween season uh, for looking at the Paranormal Activity films Paranormal Activity Next of Kin out in 2021 and it was a significant 15 in the UK it's a horror supernatural genre and it ran for one hour and 30 minutes eight minutes Margot travels to a farm along with her friends and a relative to learn more about her mother who was a member of an Amish community but she soon experiences strange events intriguing her further the initial release for this film was the 29th of October 2021 and this was directed by William Eubank and it's distributed by Paramount Plus and that's where I viewed it uh, using a, a free trial that I had recently. Cast included Emily Bader as Mar Margot, Ronald Buck III as Chris, Dan Lippert as Dale Kylie Zion as Azamudis, Henry Ares as Samuel, Tom Novich as Jacob, Alex Nizak as Mary, and Gunnar Wright as the deputy. Okay, on to some trivia about the film. Originally conceived for theatrical release during the pandemic, Paramount decided to change its release strategy and make it as a Paramount exclusive, making this the first paranormal activity film not to be given a theatrical release. Despite sharing the title, the film has no relation whatsoever with the other films of the series. Previous note says that it had the same demon, but that is not confirmed. First paranormal activity film to be shot in the widescreen 239 to 1 aspect ratio format, unlike the full screen 1781 format that was the staple in the series. Second paranormal activity poster not featuring any of the main characters following the paranormal activity The Marked Ones in 2014. And finally, James Blum, the producer of this film and all of the Paranormal Activity movies, has stated that he despises the film and has expressed no interest in continuing the franchise. Okay, and as the trivia stated, this kind of has no relation whatsoever to do with the first five Paranormal Activity films. Um, this is kind of like a, almost, well, feels like a standalone um, film on its you know its own uh, I have to be honest I don't really feel like this felt very paranormal at all um, more of a sort of yeah sort of horror um, thriller kind of thing um, there were some paranormal activity scenes within the film um, certainly when the character of um, Margot is under the bed in the room um, that she's kind of that is above her you, um, you she can hear something on the bed and the sort of beds moving around and obviously she's got a camera with her all the time again this is shot um, with a found footage kind of uh, feel to it um, but she is the camera and you, you know there's nothing there um, she's hearing noises at night sort of above where they're sleeping and to be honest, that's really the only paranormal sort of activity part of it, from my view anyway. And the whole story is basically the character of Margot. She's um, found out that she was kind of abandoned as a child. Um, her mother was part of the Amish community and gave her up. And she grew up in the sort of, um, you know, modern America. Um, um, but she's since found out that um, she was part of this sort of what well, her family are from this community and she wants to kind of seek out and find out about her mother you know her family 
show her and uh, a couple of the guys go go with her and they find the um there's a member of the amish community who is kind of come out of it um he seems to be a friendly guy sort of um he he takes them back to the farmhouse um where this community is and um sort of introduces them all to the um the people of the community and for the first few days it's kind of you know her getting to know them and her her friends getting to know this community etc etc um it's very much date stamped uh, very much like the um other films uh, that's that's a similarity um with this um and again it's all sort of used with camera footage you know it, they're being filmed constantly so that's the the continuity i suppose behind it um and as the story progresses it you know it becomes obviously more and more um unusual there's things going on which um they're sort of all asking questions about um don't really want to give too much away because obviously it's a fairly new film and uh um you see you know i don't want to spoil it for people but it's very much her trying to um discover what's going on with her friends and um a lot of these sort of events seem to be surrounding a church which is nearby to the community there's a lot of odd things going on in that church um and um yeah i mean to sort of sum up really the the ending of it it very much felt like a typical kind of um sort of horror film where there's a lot of crazy stuff going on um you know people sort of getting killed and um people running around and this kind of thing but it didn't feel for me hardly very very far removed from the paranormal activity films that we've seen um in this series this to be honest felt like it was kind of its own thing um yes there was a little bit of um sort of paranormal activity within the film but to be honest it could have been anything um i think just having the name attached to it um you know it, it yeah i didn't think this was a very good film in all honesty uh, i kind of came away from it thinking well what was the point in this you know it seemed very run-of-the-mill to me um not that bit jumpy in places but yeah in in all honesty um I'd be surprised if they continue this um, franchise now because it, to me it feels like it's kind of lost its way. It's This is far removed from anything that we've seen in the past from these films. And yeah, I mean, it, if you, you see it on a streaming site, free to air on a streaming site that you have access to, it might be worth a watch, but a one-time watch for me, really, this one. Um, I didn't think it, it sort of lived up to the, um, you know, the sort of paranormal list that you got in certainly some of the other films. So, yeah, unfortunately, not a great film at all. Hey guys, that's my review of um, Paranormal Activity Next of Kin. I, was like, oh, I can't really recommend this film, to be honest. I didn't really think it was that good. Um, you know, just, yeah, very run of the mill little bit of paranormal normal activity in it but yeah I, I wouldn't recommend it but um you know and, and other people may think this is great um but for me it just felt a bit flat didn't really feel paranormal to me um and it, i certainly wouldn't revisit this here. um anyway thanks very much for watching the video guys take care and a happy halloween